Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial Online Classes, CSIR Net Mathematics Real Analysis. In this class, we discuss about very very important test which is known as Dirichlet test for the convergence of infinite series. Dirichlet test for the convergence of infinite series. The statement of this series is if un is a decreasing sequence, if un is a decreasing sequence, un is decreasing means un greater than un plus 1 or greater than or equals to un plus 1. For all n belongs to capital N, un is decreasing sequence. And it has another property, limit un is equals to 0. Limit un is equals to 0. And if the sequence of partial sums, if the sequence of partial sums, Sn, of the series summation Vn, it means Sn is a nth partial sum of Vn. Sn is equals to nth partial sum of Vn. It means Sn is equals to V1 plus V2 plus and so on plus Vn. Nth partial sum means the sum of the first n terms of the infinite series. Sn is the nth partial sum of the infinite series. Summation Vn is bounded. This Sn must be bounded. This Sn must be bounded. Means Sn mod Sn is less than some constant. Positive constant capital M. Then the product of the series. Summation Un into Vn. Summation Un into Vn is convergent. This is known as Dirichlet test. You observe the statement again. If un is a sequence of decreasing terms, un is a sequence of decreasing terms, and limit n times to infinity, un is equals to 0. And Sn is the nth partial sum of the infinite series Vn. Means Sn is equals to V1 plus V2 plus and so on plus Vn is bounded. That Sn is bounded. Then the product summation un into vn summation un into vn is convergent. So one of the very very important tests. To understand this test we can solve these two problems according to Dirichlet test. Let us observe that. Examine the convergence of the series. Examine the convergence of the series 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 6 and so on. Minus 1 by 7 and so on. 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 7 plus and so on. Except the first term. Except the first term. Next, every two terms have same sign. Pair of, every pair of terms have same sign. Minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 3. Plus 1 by 4, plus 1 by 3. Minus 1 by 6, minus 1 by 7. And so on. So, right, let us take un is equals to 1 by n. Take un is equals to 1 by n. What is un plus 1? 1 by n plus 1. For all n belongs to capital N. This is very trivial. N plus 1 is greater than N. Which implies 1 by N plus 1 is less than 1 by N. Which implies UN plus 1 is less than UN. Means UN is greater than UN plus 1. Means the sequence UN is decreasing. The sequence UN is decreasing. Also, limit n times to infinity un is equals to limit n times to infinity 1 by n. Clearly 0. You observe that first property of Dirichlet test is simply verified. Un is decreasing and limit n times to infinity un is equals to 0. Take s1 is equals to 1. s2 is equals to minus 1. S3 is equals to minus 1. S4 is equals to 1. S5 is equals to minus 1. And so on. Now you observe that 
S1 is equals to 1, finite. Don't take S1, S2, take V1, 1. It is very easy. V2, minus 1. V3, minus 1. V4, plus 1. V5, minus 1. And so on. Take S1 is equals to V1, which is equals to 1, finite. S2 is equals to V1 plus V2. You get 1 minus 1, 0, finite. Means bounded. S3 is equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Again you get 1 minus 1 minus 1. You get minus 1, finite. S4 is equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4. Again you get 0. You observe that clearly they are finite. Every finite sequence is bounded. Sn is bounded. Sn is bounded. Now you observe that the nth partial sum Sn is bounded and Un is a decreasing sequence and limit n times infinity Un is equal to 0 by Dirichlet test. By Dirichlet test. Summation Un into Vn is convergent. Summation Un into Vn is convergent. That is the given series 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 7 plus and so on. This series is clearly a convergent series. Let's observe that. Next we solve the second problem. Infinite series. In the second one the given infinite series is. Summation n is equal to 1 to infinity sin n by log of n plus 1. The given infinite series is summation of sin n divided by log of n plus 1. Log of n plus 1. Where n varied from 1 to infinity. Take un is equals to 1 by log of n plus 1. Comma vn is equals to sin of n. This is very very important one. un is equals to 1 by log of n plus 1. vn is equals to sin of n. What is un plus 1? 1 by log of n plus 2. We know that log of n plus 1 is always less than log of n plus 2 for all natural numbers. For all natural numbers. If you write the reciprocal, 1 by log of n plus 1 is greater than 1 by log of n plus 2. What it is? The term un is greater than un plus 1 for all n belongs to capital N. What it means? The sequence un is a decreasing sequence. Is a decreasing sequence. If it is a decreasing sequence, let us find the limit un. Limit n tends to infinity un is equals to Limit n tends to infinity 1 by log of n plus 1, which is clearly equivalent to 0. Yes, now un is a decreasing sequence and limit un is equals to 0. As finish. Take Sn is equals to nth partial sum of summation Vn. Let, let Sn be the nth partial sum Sn be the nth partial sum of summation Vn which implies Sn is equals to V1 plus V2 plus and so on plus Vn which implies Sn is equals to sin of 1 sin of 2 plus and so on plus sin of n we know that sin x is less than or equal to 1 for all x belongs to capital R. So clearly less than or equal to 1, less than or equal to 1 and so on. The sum is less than or equal to 1. 
it means the sequence SN is bounded. SN is bounded. Now you observe that UN is a decreasing sequence. Limit UN is equal to 0. And the nth partial sum of the VN, infinite series VN, is bounded. Now it is possible to apply the Dirichlet test. By Dirichlet test, by Dirichlet test, summation UN into VN is convergent. That is, summation sin of N divided by log of N plus 1 is divergent. Sin n divided by log of n plus 1 is not divergent. I am sorry. Because u n v n is convergent. This is convergent. Which is the required one. Both the series are convergent by using the Dirichlet test. In the next class we solve some more problems. Depends upon the Dirichlet test.